Hi guys, today we are going to look into the topic called bolt and bolt parts. To do one, click on the bolt in steel tab. Click on bolt option. The part to bolt to is the main part, that is the SHS, and the part to be bolted is the secondary part, that is the plate. Click on middle most button after picking the members. Now click on the start position and the end position to drop the bolts. Sometimes bolt may face in wrong direction. To modify, click on the bolt and change its rotation in the properties and click modify to apply the changes. Now you could choose the bolt type from the drop down menu. Based on the bolt selected, its sizes are fixed. Let me bring back to normal. Bolt type indicates whether the bolt is sight or sharp bolt. Connectors is whether the bolt to be connected as secondary or sub assembly. Thread indicates whether the bolt required thread or not. Cut length is to increase the size of the bolt. Say if I give 200, the bolt is going to be a through bolt covering the whole SHS. It's going to be top 100 and bottom 100 from the start position. Now let me bring back to normal. If I need to add washer or nut, just click on the check boxes to add one. Remove the bolt checkbox to provide only hole. Click modify to apply the changes. For bolt grouping, specify the shape, say array, and modify the x and y direction. See, the number of bolts gets increased based on the values typed in bolt x and y distance. Click modify to apply the changes. Click on circle, now type in the number of bolts and the diameter of the circle. Click modify to create circular bolts. Change the number of bolts or the diameter to increase the values. List is one of the options used for creating staggered bolt. Create array and choose single bolts and delete the required bolts. Now the array bolts automatically changes to the list containing the staggered bolts. Coming to holes, here a tolerance of 2mm is provided. In drawing, the holes are created as the bolt size 12mm plus 2mm tolerance that is 14mm in dia. Now for special hole, click on the checkbox to apply one. Type in the slot size, say 10 mm, and click modify to create the slot in x direction. If I change in y, it will be created in y direction. Now, if I click on the second plate and click modify to punch the hole in SHS, since parallel is provided, the holes are created in parallel direction. If I add odd or even, the holes are perpendicular to each other. Now, let me bring back to normal and click modify. For oversized hole, Specify the hole size in oversized and click modify to create a oversized hole. Now choose no hole to create no hole. Only the bolt will be supplied. In position, if I type in the value say 10 mm, the bolt moves towards the y direction from the start position. Now if I type in the value for rotation, it is going to be rotated and at the depth, it is going to move up or down. For offset from, if I type in the values in x direction, it will move towards the x direction. And if I type in the values for y direction, it will move towards the y direction. And if I type in the value for z, it is going to be rotated. Now let me bring back to normal. Now let us look into bolt parts. Usually, the bolt is released with the secondary member, that is the plate. Here, to check it, click on the bolt parts, right click on the bolt and click bolt parts. Here, the plate is the main member and SHS is the secondary member, which is wrong, need to be changed. To change the bolt parts, right click and click on bolt parts and select the members, SHS and the plate. Now, right click on the bolt and inquire. The main part should be SHS and secondary part should be the plate. The red one is the main part and yellow one is the secondary part which is correct. 
There is also a macro called auto bolt which is used for bolt connections which will be viewed in the later classes of macros. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys.